probably viewed the music world through Ian West's eyes without even realising. His photography has graced the pages of every major music magazine from Rolling Stone to NME. He's also directed and shot music videos for the likes of The Future Heads, Nadine Shah and Hyde and Beast. I spoke to Ian about his unique style of capturing his subjects as well as some of his more recent cinematic ventures. Got into photography through when my dad retired. Um, he decided to, to get a small studio and run it together. Um, I always had an interest in media. I went to, to university to study media production and from that I didn't really get what I, what I thought I needed to, um, to progress any further without going to the, you know, the big city and fighting it out down there. So instead of you know, shooting video and, and that type of thing, it was about taking photographs of people, of families, um, of babies, of doing weddings, of that type of thing. And so that's how I first got started in it, got a camera and started doing it that way. Um, and then from then, I was approached by um, David Brewis, who I went to college with, who I knew really well, and he was bringing out a record at the time, which was the first School of Language album. And we had this little studio space, and he said, you know, I've heard you're into photography now, do you want to shoot the cover? I said, uh, yeah, but I don't quite know what I'm doing, let's be honest. So, um, you know, that was about six or seven years ago. I was going to say, now. that's relatively recent. Yeah, then, yeah. yeah, well, it's about six or seven years ago, and that's when I first started getting into it, you know, mm -hmm. and David come and he had the confidence to say, you know, let's just try something. And it's, it's still one of my favourite photographs. And then Peter released The Week That Was, which was kind of, you know, the next year. Um, and his idea was, can you light, you know, seven people with a television screen? <laughs> and from, you know, not really knowing what I was doing, mm -hmm. to trying to pull that off, then that started his role in, you know, learning more about lighting, learning more about composition, learning more about, you know, working with people, working with their visions and my visions and trying to, to bring something. And that's, again, that's something I'm really happy so with. it's kind of throwing you in the deep end in that sense, I suppose. Yeah, <laughs> I think everything that I've done, I don't think I've done anything in the shallow end, yeah. to be honest. I think that's why I, I keep looking for things to to push us further, to mm -hmm. do things that challenge us a little bit more. Everything that I do, I'm terrified of doing. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's a really good thing, even though it's, you know, it's, it's hell for my wife and it's hell for my family, because I've got to get home and I'm storyboarding and I'm editing and I'm worrying and I'm thinking, does this work or does it not work? And yeah. then, Luckily, because you jump in and you have a fear for it, and I think that's probably, you know, the, the, the most, well, it's the best thing I've got from it, mm -hmm. is to do things that terrify you. And <laughs> if it doesn't work, then, you know, you tried it and it was good. Um, but you learn a lot more, you, you know, you do make mistakes, but if you do succeed, it's, it does give you that, that energy to kind of to move on to something else. So did that first commission start you off with music photography specifically? Or else, and having worked with David, then I just kind of, jumped straight in and thought, I'm going to get in touch with Barry. So it was Barry Hyde at the Future Heads. So I kept just kind of pestering him, are you doing anything? Do you want to do a promo shoot? It's for me portfolio, you know, anything I can do. Mm -hmm. And he, he got in touch and said, you know, I love the stuff that you're doing. Yes, we'd love to do a shoot with you, but I've got this idea. And I was like, great, bearing in mind that everything I do was terrifying at the start. And I hadn't met any of the lads. So, I mean, it was uh, his idea was via email, why don't you turn up and be the biggest moron you can be a, a pl completely atrocious guy so turn up just full of ego you know with your camera will not tell the other guys and me and you will just have a massive barney in front of them you snap away and then see what we get um okay. which, which sounded great when yeah. i was reading it and it was yeah that's a really good idea so then when we got there it was you know out in barry's house and we're out in the backyard so i set a light up and we've got everything sorted and i'm just kind of sighing all the time and you know giving it the big whatever <laughs> Um, and Barry's just, you know, he's kind of coming back and snapping and all of that. So just kind of looking around <laughs> each other and who is this guy? <laughs> what is going on? Uh, and then finally, you know, I just kind of started shouting at Barry. Dave lost it. He just kind of, he's right, I'm out of here. So he kind of left. Everyone kind of just looked around so he really wasn't confused. On it or not? No, they yeah. weren't. So Dave just kind of stormed out. He was going to knock us out. <laughs> he said, I'm going to hit, he said, I'm going to hit this guy. For you know, he's at, he's at my brother. Who does he think he is? He's nobody. Uh, and it was it was good. It was like just a really pretentious photographer just to kind of go in and play that part. But that's that's Baz. Just he's got them kind of. This is a ridiculous idea. And from that, that shoot and the you know the ensuing relationship that I had with the band and that I've done you know various solo projects with them is off the back of breaking the ice with them mm -hmm. there. So what about um, video production and directing? What, yeah. How did you get, kind of get into that? Or was it quite a natural progression? Video, photography? yeah, video came from um, Dave Hyde, who's the drummer in the Future Heads, who's in Hyde and Beast with Neil. Um, and they invited us down to just shoot a few shows on the Chaos Tour. 
then we're like, we're going down to Glasgow and we're just in the back of the bus and Dave was telling us about the Hide and Beast project that he'd been doing. Um, how the, you know he loved the album and he thought that other people might like it. It wasn't meant to be liked by anyone else really, um, but it was just by them and it, it was such a really really great album. And he said, you know, I'd love you to do some visuals for it, and I'd love you eventually just to do some videos for it. And I just got an initial pang of like, oh, videos. Right, I don't know how to edit. I haven't got a camera. Oh, I know how to take stills, but you know, 24 frames a second. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. So from that. I kind of just said, okay, mm -hmm. yeah, no problem, man. Yeah, whatever you want to do. And he says, right, I want you to do three videos. We're going to have three singles off the first album. Um, so you've done a video for Nadine Shah as yeah. well. Um, so we're, we're going to look at the video. Um, so how, how was that to film? How was the process? It was it was class because, you know, Nadine's just just a wonderful talent. And it was lovely to be asked to do, which was, it was the lead single off her first record, I think, mm -hmm. um, when she was still up here. And um, I had a dad's carpet warehouse which was an amazing location. Um, I brought this piano in and we had one light, which Neil had found somewhere. And we had greaseproof paper over the front of it and one camera. And it was just such a really eerie kind of place. And for the song as well, it just worked really, really well. And we had this idea, which was on the day, we're gonna make a, a music video and then we're gonna project it. So Neil kind of lent a projector from the university and brought it over and we, we, we made the video and then he cut it in about 20 minutes. So we kind of just filmed this very rough piano thing, you know, close up and then just hands on the piano on a close up in the face. And we projected that one behind what was supposed to be the proper video. And then it was the idea was that she was supposed to be not getting it right. And it was supposed to be all the bits of her getting more and more frustrated, but we've, we've got a perfect video behind her, but she still wants to do a little bit better. Um, and it's a favourite bit in probably any of my videos where it just it just cuts out of all of the of the track goes and there's just ambience and she just sings like you know a couple of lines of the verse, um, which is just really really powerful and it, it works. Thank you.